snare rate, hopefully that's a good one. Snare rate, I think it's a good one. Okay. Okay, question. Why am I in the center of the canoe and not at the rear? Almost at the end of McCarthy Lakes here. McCarthy Lake. Sort of been renamed uh, McLean Lake. I don't know why they called it that. But why am I on the center of the canoe and not right at the back? Well, the bench in the back, I don't know how good a condition it's actually in. And uh, one of my big problems is, is that if I get in there and it breaks, uh, it's hard to move maneuver around in the canoe that you haven't paddled in a long time, right? Not that it's impossible, like I'm pretty good with the canoe, but uh, I have to practice my re-entries and all that. So this is the end of the lake here. And I figured it's just easier to paddle from the center. Problem is from the center, your J-stroke don't work as well because you're not far enough off to get the, you have to really kind of dig in to, there, this is what gets people nervous on a canoe is when they, there's a little bit of a current here, a little bit of waves. You got to kind of turn into them, not be afraid of them. Because if you do, what happens is it, it puts the boat like this. So I can feel the boat kind of jigging around on me right now. So, yeah, right into the wind. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. All right, see? It was so nice coming. There was no wind on the way here. Why? Because it was going with the wind, eh? But you can see there's a little bit of ricochet waves, so I'm going to have to work on the way back. Let's see if I can catch up with those kayakers. They're cheating. They got double paddles. Now, mind you, this boat tracks pretty well when you got a double paddle, but any boat will. Yeah. My goal, this is uh, the May 2-4 long weekend. Uh, Queen's birthday, I guess you'd say. Okay, so crab into the wind a bit here. If you try to keep the boat too upright when there's a, a crosswind, what happens is the boat just keeps blowing off wind. So when you feel the wind hit the bow, just kind of turn it into, just lean it into the wind a bit. And you might even actually get some sail speed out of it. Like I'm going, I'm going upwind now and I'm actually making better speed, right? But if I had a double paddle, make sure I don't collide with the kayaker, but I'll go say hello. I'll go say hello. Why not? See, he's blowing around a bit there. He's got a shorter kayak, so. My Anukshuk was 17 feet. We're gonna have all kinds of nice discussions about canoes and kayaks. Yeah. A lot easier with the double paddle, eh? Yeah, I used to have a 17 footer and then I went back to this and this is a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, especially in the wind, eh? Yeah. yeah. You, you guys out here too, or? Yeah, I have the, well, the parents of my girlfriend have the blue one right there. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's a good day for it if you can get the, keep away from the flies, eh? Yeah. <laughs> have a good one. I got a bit of waves bringing me in there. I gotta get out in the center and get one. Get out in the big water. So just to get that crab crabbing into the wind a bit, right? Uh, one way to deal with wind on a canoe is uh, think like a sailor where you tack rather than go straight into the wind. Sometimes it actually gives you a little bit of speed because like that. You know, see, that's not too bad. I'm making actually good progress here. So I'm doing a tack. So I'm gonna tack the lake back rather than go straight into the wind. Uh, because what happens is as you gain some forward momentum, the wind on the freeboard of the canoe sorta of, sort of attracts you. Gives you a little extra speed, right? Not a lot, but it saves fighting the wind the entire time, right? So and remember, paddle with your body. The lower you can get your where you can get your arm comfortably, the better. I'm sitting up kind of high, but I always like this position in the canoe. Just because, uh, you know, the center position is kind of a different position, you know? It's, uh, uh see, my wind's changed again. So, which way is it going? Uh, see, it's going that way. See, it wants to blow me across the lake, but if I turn, it'll blow me really fast into the shore that way. So, just coming, there's the head point of the wind right there. So maybe about yeah, 10, 15 degrees off wind. Start paddling, watch what will happen. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Say maybe 20 degrees off wind, like so. And now that 
it wants to blow the bow down down range so to speak if you there that's that's the wind i'm talking about hopefully you guys can still hear me but that kind of wind right there if it's strong enough and you crab into it like i say slightly like lean into the wind as it's blowing against the bow it'll it'll keep the bow wanting to go downwind and when that happens what you can do is just add a little bit of paddle and you get some speed and you actually cross the waves quite quickly you see i'm almost to the shore there and uh so the wind doesn't the wind never helps you but it it can help you a little bit more in the same here so I've got a nice broad side of wind don't over paddle the wind and uh just work with it you know what i mean and uh, again shorter canoe won't track as well like this one you know and remember your stability is right when you lean to one side of the canoe or the other it will the canoe will respond to that so, so here we go but this is fun where's my truck oh there's my truck way over there i don't know i wouldn't say that's a mile uh, eh, half a mile maybe it's not a very very big lake but yeah I, I know i'm gonna get eaten alive but we're going into the cove guys we're going into the cove why because a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do all right we'll see you in the cove <laughs>